This is the KGMB 9 Sports Report with Rob Simpson. In 1973, 162 runners entered the first Honolulu Marathon. This year, more than 30,000 entered the race. Among the throng, a dozen of the world's best pacers attempting to win. Among those rolling out of bed to watch are Scott Culbertson. Scott Culbertson, KGMB 9 Sports. The winners and their times. John Smith, by the way, the best finish for a Hawaii runner, 235.51. Some same stat format for the ladies. Burskins wins by a minute plus. Jeannie Wolkash, the top comma Ina, 248.46. And the low rollers. Sellers, the quickest. Bong Ho Lee jams past other Hawaii riders at 159.17. From running to running, leaping, hitting, sweating, and bleeding. The National Football League playoffs taking shape on week 15. San Diego slithering into the playoffs while San Fran is a loaded gun. Steve Young, Brent Jones, oh so nice. Steve Young, John Taylor, touchdown. Young to Ricky Waters, piling it on. It was all boys from the Bay until Stan the Man Humphreys found number 21, the newest boy from the Bay. Deion Sanders with the pick, high stepping on anyone's turf, even at the Murph. Crazy legs, crazy feet. Deion has skills. San Francisco kills San Diego. While Deion's a star, Quadre Ishmael is seeing them. Ow! Minnesota at Buffalo, the missile gets disengaged. Holy, here comes his lunch, Batman. Ishmael still alive later when Warren Moon finds him for the catch that sets up the winning score as the Vikes foot the bills. Whoopee! Raiders hosting the Broncos and with Elway out, it's Haas, the boss. He finds Harvey Williams as LA rolls by Denver. To Pops on a much smaller scale, the Wahiawa Lancers lost their championship game at the National Pop Warner Invitational on Saturday, 18-zip in favor of the Oak Grove Rhinos in California. But the Hawaii youngsters faced mega challenges just to get there. Dave Vinton with more. Dave Vinton, KGMB 9 Sports. Turning to pro tennis, outside the four majors, there's no bigger paycheck than the men's Grand Slam Cup. Time to go to Munich. Big rallies, big serves at the finals. And there it is. Pete Sampras brought his guns, so did Magnus Larson. And then when they were done firing shots at each other, Larson had the four-set upset win over the top seat. 7-6, 4-6, 7-6, 6-4 the numbers. That's Larson again right there. The big number is the $1.5 million pocketed right there by the Swede. Hawaii Winter Baseball in 1994 will come down to the final series of the season. The Stingrays and Emeralds deadlocked with three games to play. Not only did Maui avoid being swept at home, their victory against Kauai earned them that first place tie. In the battle for third place, Hilo just got a game back from Honolulu after an extra inning victory at Rainbow. The season wraps up with Hilo at Maui and Kauai at Honolulu for three game sets starting Tuesday night. And you know what, Dave? It's sports tidbit time. So I've got oh, a couple okay. of leftovers. Scott Simpson wins the Callaway Hawaii State Open Golf Tournament with a 216 finish, 6300 bucks. No mm -hmm. relation to me. Wish he was. It would mean cheap <laughs> golf lessons. And Absolutely. Florida rules in surfing in 94 because Lisa Anderson has clinched the world title for the women down in Australia. It's Monday there. It's already happened. She's won it or advanced to the quarterfinals in the current event, but that clinches right. it for. And uh, Kelly Slater, of course, won uh, clinched for the men here in Hawaii at the pipeline. So, right. Okay. Florida rules, not Hawaii this year. Sorry. Weird. Shabby surf in Florida, too. Go figure. Yeah, it's been a tough surf year. We're expecting kind of a big year on the North Shore, but uh, just hasn't uh, materialized yet. That's right. right. Well, and also uh, getting in the Hawaii winter baseball there, I know, that's close to your heart. Yeah, three more games. I'm wrapping That's up right. the broadcasts uh, Tuesday. Doing a nice job Tuesday on that, play-by-play. Play. It's a lot Listen of fun. Yeah, check it out. All right. One thing we never do here, Dave, is to thank our crew, and we got to say these guys uh, work under difficult conditions. Another <laughs> fine <laughs> effort tonight, right? And they have to work with us. That's right. Crazy Good job, people. ladies and gents. Thank you. Mahalo to everyone for watching us tonight. We want to make sure that you know that Terry Okita will be on tomorrow on the First News at 5, so watch her. Aloha, folks. See you later.